This is a fuselage that one of our customers has underway. Here's the back of the airplane bulkhead 8. You can see this is the stabilizer attachment box. This is where the stabilizer spar attaches to. You've got your rudder hinge, and of course you've got your uh, tailwheel mount inside the airplane for a nice clean look. Moving forward, we've got the vertical stabilizer keel. We've got the forward horizontal stabilizer spar carry through. Now, this customer is almost done with his um, fuselage. Aside from, you can see that he's got to install the belly skin here still. He did take advantage of some good weather this time of year to um, do some, some painting inside of his airplane. Uh, but you can also see that he's got the, the widened Londrons, the military style Londrons. That's a little bit different on this airplane than the standard airplanes. Um, so that's why it looks different here. He does have his seat belt, his shoulder harness lug here. The instrument panel goes here, of course, and then the baggage compartment is up here. And the baggage compartment does have a back wall, which isn't installed yet, and it does have a hatch um, door, which isn't installed yet. You can also see looking underneath the back of the seat stru structure, and you can see that the rudder pedals um, do have some deflectors on the side of the on the side of the seats. There, those deflectors make it so you can um, you always have positive engagement with the rudder pedals. So you don't slip off and hit the seat. A little bit of bulkhead too here, but looking aft, you can also see the baggage compartment itself. And again, this does have a door on it. You've got some pass-throughs here for electrical or whatever whatever else you may need. Um, the baggage does have walls here too, so you could put your pedostatic and electrical through here and install those side walls and have no interference with, with the electrical and baggage. You can see, again, this is the front seat. You can see a little bit of the front seat structure here. Control stick torque tube mount, some pass-throughs pass for electrical. Uh, some, um, he's got his engine bearing Londrons in. His engine mount pads are in, and of course his rudder pedal mount. The rudder pedal mount sticks out a little bit from bulkhead one, and that's because there is a foot well that he installs here on the firewall. You've got your elevator idler here. Forgot to point that out. That carries the loads from the control stick up to the elevator. Um, your lap belt lugs and your seat back attachment angles. Uh, very, very, very simple stuff. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know. Uh, we're very easy to get a hold of, email, phone, whatever is the best way for you.